my assignment is to uh, uh, talk about three areas of HIV that we've been involved in and talk about the innovation there. One is the advances in treatment. The second is access to the developing world. And the third is the possibility of using drugs to prevent HIV infection. The first drug for treating AIDS was launched only 22 years ago in 1987, it was AZT. And then in 1996, we finally were able to do three drug therapy. It was only 13 years ago we had enough drugs to adequately treat AIDS patients. The drugs evolved over the last few years to be simplified, be once a day, and be better tolerated. What we were able to do, we had two HIV drugs we combined into a single pill. Then Bristol-Myers Squibb had a partnership with a third drug that matched it, and we combined all three drugs in a single pill. So I think probably everyone knows that we're not close to an HIV vaccine. But in the meantime, we've worked with a variety of government groups to test our HIV products to see if we can give them to people to avoid infection. So the question that has been posed, and we've shown it works in animal models, is can a, a treatment with HIV medication in high-risk individuals um, prevent the acquisition of HIV infection? And there's quite a bit of interest in this because of the lack of a vaccine and the fact that we have such a large burden of HIV disease in the developing world. These are phenomenal things to think that we've uh, gone from HIV being a death sentence to having 22 years ago to only having three drug therapy 13 years ago to now be able to treat it with a single pill, to have uh, so many people in the developing world on therapy and to be thinking about a pill for prevention. None of these things had to happen. There's so many steps of innovation in there. And we're all really concerned that the climate, especially for the smaller companies that tried to grow like we have in our 23 years of existence, that opportunity could be severely hampered. We were very efficient at Gilead. We got to profitability quick, and it took 15 years. And at the year we turned profitable, we had spent nearly $2 billion, and we had lost uh, three-quarters of a billion. And I just don't see, you know, with the, uh, the environment we have now, how uh, I don't know the level we'll be able to support that innovation. And I, I think there'll be fewer companies farmed. Most won't be successful. There are not that many new products that are approved every year.